everybody, how are you doing? My name is Patty Duran, and today we're gonna be talking about environment design. But first of all, what is environment? Well, environment is the invisible hand that shapes human behavior. Your behavior changes depending on the room you're in and the objects that are in front of you. During this time, it's easy to blur our behaviors because we're in the same house. And let's face it, I mean, it's really unmotivating to do all the things that you normally do when you don't have to be home. And well, this can cause us to be lazy, procrastinate, and eat more. But you don't have to be a victim of your environment. You can be the architect of it. Here's five ways to rearrange your environment to redefine your behavior. The hack to redefining our behavior is to use one space for one use. This area here, I used to have my desk here and then I actually took my desk out of my room during this time because I didn't want to merge my workspace with my bedroom, with my creative space. So I separated one space for one use. So this here is my creative space. And basically what I do in this space is anything that has to do with creativity and creative flow. So that's journaling for me, that's doing my Devo, that's painting, maybe just engaging in anything that has to do creative, but nothing work related, nothing that has to do outside of just getting into creativity. One space, one use. So I've decided to make my living room my chilling, connecting, and relaxing space. So that means I come here to take Zoom calls for crew, watch Sunday service, or just connect with friends and just relax. So this is my work from home space and I recreated this by bringing out my desk that I had in my room and I brought it into our den area. There was nothing here, but it was important to create one space for one use when it comes to work. Maybe you don't have another space in your home, but you can recreate with maybe taking your dining room table, clearing it out, and making that your work from home space, and then maybe you turn it back into your dining table after work. But make sure that there's something that you feel as a transition between your workspace and then the rest of your space. Remember, one space, one use. Well, this one space, one use hack has become very popular. If you have a balcony at home, you're like me, you've resorted to making it your home gym. So are you ready? our kitchen is one space one use but I'm gonna throw this in just as a bonus hack and I think this is really gonna help you stay with some accountability we are all tempted just being at home grabbing things like I rather eat cookies right now we're gonna go for the protein shake so I think you can give yourself some accountability board maybe it's a paper you put in your kitchen and you can tally the times you've been healthy and then the times you've gone for something unhealthy a treat and then that'll just help you visually to keep track of what you're eating and try to make healthier habits so here's a quick recap environment is the invisible hand that shapes our behavior so it's up to you now you can rearrange your home in order to redefine the behavior that you want remember you are the architect of your environment so thank you so much for watching covid 19's environment design with myself, Patty Duran. So make sure that you comment if you like it, share it with a friend. We love you, thank you for watching.